Have you ever wondered why fighters wrap their hands? Have you ever wanted to put on some gloves and test your mental? On today's program, you will learn the proper way to wrap your hands before you step in the ring, and some history behind one of the biggest sports today. Norwalk Community College presents How Do I, where we show you new and interesting things. Now join our host, Shayna Johnson. I'm your host, Shayna Johnson, and welcome to today's edition of How Do I? We have an exciting show for you today, where we'll be showing you how to properly wrap your hands for boxing. Before we get started, let's take a brief history lesson as we get back and look to the history of boxing. Boxing can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where boxing matches were not much different from a schoolyard fight. Rings were just made up of people surrounding the fighters, and hand wraps were made up of leather straps braided around each fighter's hand. During this time of the Romans, gladiators improved on their design, adding metal to it. Jumping a few hundred years later to 1867 London, John Graham from the Chamber of Amateur Sports Club came up with the Queensbury Code of Rules, which gave us the rules of boxing we have today, such as padded gloves, three-minute round, and having 10 seconds to get up if knocked down rule. Now that we know a little bit about the history of boxing, let's get into the reasons why hand wrapping is absolutely necessary. Wrapping the hands help protect the wrists, tendons, thumbs, and knuckles. This helps prevent common hand injuries such as broken wrists, thumb tendencies, and arthritis. Besides the medical reasons, there are some practical reasons for wrapping the hands, mainly to make sure when a proper punch is thrown, the fighter is hitting with the front two knuckles. Now let's get started with step one. The tools you will need are a pair of hand wraps and boxing gloves. Step is, we're gonna wrap our thumb around the loop to make sure our thumbs are supported. From there, we're gonna start a wrap around our wrist three times. Make sure to keep it tight so that your forearm stays straight. Now, from there, we're gonna wrap it around our hands three times once, once again. Make sure to not tie it too tight so that your hands could breathe when you start sweating. We just learned our first step, making sure to protect the thumb and have a tight wrap around the wrist. Let's move on to the next step. For the second step, we're going to start off by wrapping around the thumb to make sure that we do not break it. Once you go around the thumb, you're going to go around the hand one more time. And we're going to start to web the wrap in between the fingers. Once we go in between each finger, Remember to go back down the hand, forming an X motion. This should be to ensure our finger stays in place and tight and close to each other so that we could throw, deliver hard punches. Notice every time when I, after I go around the fingers, my hands are open. When I come back down around, I close making the fist. This is to ensure that our hands still have room to breathe when we're sweating. You're gonna do this in between each finger. The end of result should look something like this. By now, you should have already laced the wraps between your fingers, so let's see what's next. Okay. 
for the third step, we're going to begin to start wrapping around our knuckles. It pretty much explains itself. You're going to go around the knuckles, but be sure to keep the same method as we did with the fingers. As in, every time we go around the knuckles, close your fist, and when you go under, open them up. And we're going to go around three times. go around the hand in an X motion be sure to keep it tight but not tight enough to where your hands cannot breathe now your hand wrap looks solid right now but you must have noticed all the cloth you still have left let's move on to the final step Once you have a little bit of cloth left, you could go ahead and wrap the rest of that around your wrist, making sure to keep it tight and straight. Once you are done, your wrap should look something like this. Nice, firm, keeping your hands straight, with still room to breathe and sweat. Once you completed this, you're ready to step into the ring or hit the punching bag. Now you know how to properly wrap your hands. You're ready to throw the gloves on and step into the ring. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of How Do I. Thank you and good day. This has been How Do I with your host, Shana Johnson, directed by Josue Wilson. I'm your announcer, Miguel Juarez. How Do I is a Nora Community College production.